Now save it, pretty mama Day by day don't give none away. Hello and welcome to the Rich Earth Institute. My name is Arthur Davis and I run our community scale urine recycling program here in Brattleboro. And I'm going to talk to you today about how we build our portable five gallon urinals here. We colloquially call them our QB and funnel. The parts we use include uh, these five gallon jugs, they're HDPE high density polyethylene jugs that we get that have um, a rubber gasketed cap and a three-quarter inch threaded knockout so that we can thread in uh, plumbing fittings to them. Uh, they also have a vent on the back. Jugs like this are pretty widely available. So the caps come not knocked out like this. So I, I usually use a, a hammer and a pipe segment and I uh, knock out the middle of the cap there so that uh, I can thread something into it and then liquid can obviously f flow through. You can also use a, use a drill bit or something to do that as well. Next, I have a three quarter inch threaded nipple. I have a three quarter inch threaded by inch and a quarter slip fitting of bushing. And then I have a inch and a quarter slip by female threaded adapter. And then finally, I have our funnel. The, the funnels we use are uh, made by Flow Tool, and they're called the giant funnel. I use a hacksaw to cut off the end, which usually sticks out farther here, uh, and that's so it can fit into the fitting once we get there. I use Teflon plumber's tape to attach the threaded nipple to the uh, bushing and also to the cap to make a watertight seal there again using Teflon plumber's tape. Then I use PVC cleaner and then PVC glue to prep and then glue uh, the bushing to the slip by threaded adapter here. So it goes on like that. As you can see in the finished model here, we have the cap, the nipple, the bushing, and then the adapter. Finally, we get to the funnel. And what I do is it has these little ribs that come out here and I just kind of get it going, starting it using the adapter as a kind of a, a tap or a die, and I get it, get it just started, and then I undo it so it, it has some threads to get it started with. Then, to make a, a watertight seal on this connection, I use a silicone gun. I put silicone all the way around uh, the outside of the, the funnel tip there, and then I also put a bunch of silicone around the inside of the threads on the adapter here. Then, with silicone in here and silicone on the outside of this, we thread this on, hopefully getting it on the same thread so it's pretty even all the way around. We thread it all the way on. At this point you'll have a bunch of silicone kind of splooshing out, but that's fine. Just leave it until it dries and then you can pick it off and it'll, it'll, be, uh, it'll look really neat. Also at this point this is glued, so you have all of these pieces now and just let the silicone dry as I said and then uh, you can just score it off later. Our final two pieces are, uh, we have this little black ring. It goes in here. Now we make these ourselves on a CNC machine, but you could also find a washer, probably a stainless steel or plastic washer that's the right size that fits in here. And the reason for the ring is that so the ping pong ball has a place to sit in the bottom of the funnel and create a seal. This will allow uh, liquid to pass through the funnel into the container without allowing odors to come up through the funnel from the container, allowing for a uh, less odiferous experience in one's bathroom. Another important thing to set up about your jug is to uh, drill out a hole in the vent cap. Your jug may come already pre-drilled, but it might not, so uh, just check that and make sure that there's a hole there that can allow for venting. Finally, the last piece that we have as part of our funnels are these uh, cozies. These are purely aesthetic, but uh, many people like them just because then they're not looking at a jug of pee in their bathroom. Some people use them, some people don't, but it's something that we've done that a lot of people have really appreciated. So now we've learned about all the parts that are needed to make a setup like this. If you're wanting to build one of these yourself and have further questions, uh, please feel free to contact us. My email is arthur at richearthinstitute.org or you can send a general email to info at richearthinstitute.org. If you're building one of these, we'd love to hear from you. Best of luck with all your adventures in urine diversion. Let it pile up, honey. 
if you may I'll call around soon The name 